Hello, welcome to the video. I've been editing for five hours. It is 3 a.m. I, hi I am hiding under your bed with the Mona Lisa, a cup of coffee, and your sleep paralysis demon. Please subscribe, like the video, feel free to comment, and um, I hope you find this tutorial helpful. Uh, don't check under your bed. Definitely not there. Bye bye This yeah. is super awesome. Ooh, yeah. I don't currently have canvases, so we're going to use primed wood instead. I choose this one. So we're not gonna talk about the angle my arm is at right now? I don't know. Yay, canvas. Paint brushes, woohoo! Now we need some water. Look at us being fancy, painting from real life. I like contrast, so I'm gonna mix orange for, um, for a wash. Yay, orange. So, I picked orange for a wash because I wanted something that's gonna contrast the primary colors in the painting, and I think that orange against the green and blues is gonna be very nice and just very nice. So we're done, we got our wash finished. So the next part I'm gonna do is not very commonly done, I don't think, but um, I'm going to mix in a brown so that I can add a little sketch in paint over top of the wash, mixing with the wash to just kind of mix it together, give it some contrast and give myself some guidelines for what I'm doing. So because we used wood, there are some already some natural lines. So I'm gonna try and incorporate those into the painting. So I'm gonna start by making the horizon line, this really visible streak in the wood. And then I'm gonna have the trees follow that sort of up and down line of the wood. I'm now gonna have the focal point of the painting just like lightly sketched in, which is just this lovely little tree. Um, it's not little, it's gigantic and like half dead. But I think it looks really cool, so it's going to be the focal point and just going to add some guidelines for where the branches are going to go and just what the tree is going to look like in general. So this part is going to get painted over and that's totally fine. It's just so that you've got a general idea of where everything's going to go. And just refreshing your brush, like it just, it's okay if it messes up the wash. None of this is going to be visible once the painting's Okay, look at this magic. The shading is totally unnecessary, but we're fancy. So we've just got these lines in and we're going to start by just adding some blocked color in where we're going to put color. So I'm going to start with just like a purplish to just like start off. There's going to be so many layers in this painting. Like it's fine. It doesn't matter if the colors are perfect. So we're just going to go in and color sort of that first skyline and it's good. I'm impatient. So I'm just going in while the wash is still a little not totally dry yet and just it's a grayish purple just going in for the first layer and yeah covering those branches it's totally fine nothing you see right now is going to be vis visible in the finished painting so here we're just going to start blocking in the color for the reflection in the water going in with a slightly lighter version of that purple color and just lightening everything up with just a little bit of white i'm just going to say i'm not using white paint i'm using primer because it is cheaper and i have it on hand so like don't get too caught up with fancy stuff. There's also gonna be a bit of yellow in these reflections just to show some sun reflecting on these clouds and just keep lighting it up, adding layers. I'm really bad at filming, sorry. Um, yeah, and you can just, you can see the lovely colors and um, yeah, so just keep going over again and again. And now look at this magic trick. Look at that magic, got all the colors blocked in. So now uh, I'm just gonna struggle to point at the right thing. So. You can see that little uh, shoreline is gonna be darker than everything else because uh, there's no trees right on the very edge of the shoreline. As you can see, we're just looking at it, there's a bit of a shadow and just kind of four major quadrants that are separated by that central tree. And um, I'm just gonna be cutting out those cottages because I don't know, they are not necessary. So like I said before, we've got four major quadrants. I'm gonna say uh, upper left, upper right, um, lower left and lower right are just we're gonna name them that so you're gonna be totally honest i do not know what i was gonna talk about here but i just basically wave around my brush for like a minute and uh yeah so with a little more magic we now have the um sky uh painted in and how it's gonna look much more realistically towards the end We've got much cooler tones, less yellows, less purples, and just like some grayer and bluer tones, which are more realistic to the sky. And so now we're going to reflect that in the water. But one thing that we really want to keep in mind is that in the water, it's going to be much more blocky colors blended into each other, opposed to just the more blended out, smoother colors. So as you can see in this next, next clip, we have more visible differences in colors than we do at the top. 
and some almost more vibrant colors that are going to be important in later steps when we're blending in and making the reflection look more like a reflection and just like blend it out vertic or horizontally not vertically clearly a genius because we just want that horizontal like water feeling like the streaky water and you can add some little bits in the reflection because reflections are light so they mess around depending on how the water's moving and so we're just going to add in the rest of the water and don't mind about getting stuff on a tree it's going to get covered up later like no one cares so you just want to keep in mind those differences in color the lighter shades and darker shades and just like once you've got the sky that's all good you're you can always go back and touch it up later if you want to but you just want to have those subtle differences and just it's really nice and so the next step we're going to go into the greens and the trees hey future me here and i just realized that i forgot to mention that um until this point i've been using very cheap paint white primer instead of um instead of normal uh white paint and i've been using very cheap paint from like a dollar store like just cheap as acrylic paint but um for this part i would recommend it's not necessary but i would recommend higher quality and somewhat somewhat thicker um paints or with just stronger pigments in general because it will make this next part a lot easier you'll need less layers blending is easier so this is the one part where i would say that a higher quality paint makes a difference but it's not totally necessary my recommended brand is Winsor & Newton. It's the one I'm using here, and it is what I would always recommend. So now that we've got a chunk of background in, the main things to keep in mind are that, number one, this is background, so it's okay for things to be blurred and unfocused. And you would just want to use the same fundamental colors in the reflection as you do in the actual trees. And so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add little lines in both the blue where the green is and then the green where the blue is to add this very much of a more reflected look and you just don't want to forget to add that uh, little um, shoreline and just make it like a shaded gray and that's all good and next we're gonna work on this reflection so as you can see we've got lines in blue where the green is and then lines in green where the blue is and it just gives that very like nice smooth reflected look and it's just it's very nice it's clean yeah more random paintbrush waving i have no idea what i was planning on putting here but i wave around my paint. so now that we've got a good chunk of this done we're just gonna flip flop over and do it on the other side and to keep in mind on this side we have much lighter trees and just um less uh evergreens and more um i carnivorous that's not the word but that's what i'm gonna call it and just more of those trees than we do on this side which is much more pines and evergreens so we're gonna go much lighter um just kind of springier green colors and um yeah so that's what we're gonna do and yeah i'm sorry there's so much paintbrush waving i don't know what i meant to say so a little bit more magic later i thought i would actually include a clip of me painting because this is a tutorial and um so as you can see i'm just blending that darker green with the lighter more yellower brighter green just to get this like shaded kind of like fuzzy effect that's just really nice and um just smooth and just totally attacking my paintbrushes and as you can see it's just a nice effect and look at that magic trick it's all done um and as you can see we did the same thing we did on the other side with the little lines um and it just looks really nice it's great background and now i'm um, gonna do this tree and you just want to keep in mind the texture of the bark and uh gonna go for a much cooler brown than the undertone is and so look at this magic trick whoop, whoop, magic and so as you can see we've got this um trunk and then the stuff and one trick i'm gonna say is mix your acrylic paint with a little bit of water to get the thinner branches because sometimes acrylic paint can be a little sticky so i'm gonna do another magic trick with the leaves and just zip zabs off them in and you can just use a variety of greens with a little bit of yellow to add some nice light and so for the last step you just want to add some yellow so now we've got our finished painting and that pop of the yellow mixed with white and just diluted with a little bit of water is a really important step because it just brings the whole thing to life, adding that lovely sort of evening light. 
reflecting on the tree and just a few streaks on the water and in the leaves just pulls everything together and leaves you with a beautiful finished painting. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope it helped and if you would like to subscribe that would be amazing. Please subscribe, I'm so desperate, I kid you not, please. Thanks for watching, please like the video, comment any advice, opinions, I don't know, just have fun and be respectful. And don't go yet because I'm going to do it first. Bye.